We are revisiting a Brown County child abuse case that gained statewide attention. You may remember hearing the names Charles and Margaret Breeze. Well, investigators arrested them back in 2019, accusing them of starving and beating their 11 year old foster child. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco has been following this case very closely for more than a year now. You know, she was there as the couple appeared in court today. Charles and Margaret Breeze sat on opposite sides of each other inside the courtroom here today. Charles Breeze has been in a medical facility due to his health. Margaret Breeze has been in a Brown County jail since her arrest in 2019. They were both scheduled for a pretrial hearing today and attorneys agreed they will go ahead with a jury trial on this case in December. You can see Charles Breeze struggled to move to a seat in the courtroom. The couple locked eyes briefly but did not talk in front of us. Court documents say Bracken County, Kentucky granted Margaret Breeze custody of the little girl in 2013. In 2019, a homeschool teacher heard the little girl say she was hungry and alerted authorities. Investigators argue the couple abused her for years. Documents say this is where the couple isolated the little girl, locked her inside a trailer, watched her with cameras, beat her, gave her a plate of rice once a day and made her wear a diaper. Doctors say she weighed 47 pounds and was in liver failure when investigators found her. Attorneys for the couple argue the little girl had severe medical and psychiatric issues before Margaret gained custody. They claim the couple was following Brown County Department of Jobs and Family Services recommendations and say the Breezes took her to doctors for treatment and to Child Protective Services on a regular basis. The Brown County prosecutor told me today that the little girl started gaining weight immediately once removed from the home and she's in better health now. The jury trial is scheduled to last for two weeks in December. I've done extensive research on this child abuse case and jobs and family services involvement with this. You can find all that on our website, WCPO.com. Just click on this story. Reporting in Brown County, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.